Good afternoon, guys. It's uh, Saturday, June, cannot remember. I think the 14 or something. Anyway, I'm at the Queen's Park, crossing the street. Uh, another day we protest, uh, Saturday afternoon. Um, I see not so many people here today, unfortunately, but uh, that's okay. So we all know uh, now that they are planning the second wave, as the saying. Now, uh, to those who are doubt what second wave is, second wave will be a uh, turn on of all the 5G nationwide, which is most likely not only going to fry our brain, but it's also going to destroy and kill our natural body ability to fight any viruses or anything like that. It suppresses immune system. Uh, if you still believe that the 5G is a conspiracy theory, um, which scientists like uh, scientists that uh, those that don't get paid to speak like most of the uh, CTV news and global news and all that stuff right uh, which independent scientists and doctors what they're talking about um, in terms of 5g like any any G any frequency it's a radiation any radiation interfere with your body ability uh, to strive and live right and especially like 5g it's the most strongest it's millions and millions little tiny bits every second penetrates will penetrate your body if it's gonna turn nationwide so and then they're gonna say you know what uh, there you go coronavirus came again right and now I, as I was driving here I was just listening to the uh, 680 news uh, trying to find out what they're yapping about and they said yeah you know number is increasing again oh my god uh, so you can see how they steer up the, the path uh, every day how they uh, plan the fear how they keep planning the fear in uh, in the masses and you know people are so easy to manipulate like very easy you don't need a short leash you don't even need uh, to involve the military and guns you just scare the hell out of people with the virus and uh, they're ready to do anything. They're ready to take a mark of beast, uh, which we all know uh, the uh, vaccine will have a number 060606 2020. Uh, it's, it's not uh, the top secret and it's not conspiracy. It's on the Bill Gates website, Microsoft website. Um, so do your research, do your diligence. Uh, don't just believe media and don't get, and don't get brainwashed. Uh, your side. Yeah. Um, so basically, um, here you go, you see how many people, um, not as many people as the BLM, Black Lives Matter, unfortunately, which we love to have, right? Uh, a few thousand people wouldn't hurt us, then we will show that we are really against uh, the regime and we against the tyranny. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, we do have some people uh, which are coming every side, I see. I see same faces over and over and over again and by the way guys to haters and those that think that we're all gonna get sick and die um, according to uh, statistics people in Belarus they never went on the um, on the lockdown same with Sweden same with Denmark uh, same by the way in Germany right they never said mask up and no social gathering they never said that they said you can protect yourself but uh, right so um, Otherwise, you know, we would see just piles of dead body in Belarus, Sweden and other countries. So just think about that, right? So the government is coming us, I mean, global government. And, uh, you know, guys, in the States right now, they are planning to, um, I think, June 22nd, they are planning a big rally where the Satanists uh, will go in masses. Um, every big city every every big uh, state and they will talk about uh, the world uh, one world government which we know it's uh, from satan although i'm not a biblical person you know i do believe in god i do believe in creator but i'm not uh, religious at all at the same time we all know that um what they do is not from God, right? It's absolutely not from God. And the funny thing is, those Satanists, the Luciferians, the Masons, right? They like to follow the Holy Scripture, which they believe is Holy Scripture, most likely written by them. Sorry, guys, if I heard you feeling about the Bible, but uh, to me, reading Bible multiple times, from front to back, right? From cover to cover, as you say, uh, 
I didn't find any law. I mean, only in the New Testament. In Old Testament, I didn't. Anyway, it's another discussion for another video here. Uh, I'm enjoying being with people that are like-minded and not brainwashed and uh, don't have a muzzle like uh, I see people right now. By the way, there is a new law coming. In TTC, it will be mandatory. Somehow, one blogger paused the blog. Uh, I don't know how true. I don't think it's true that in Canada, uh, from I think uh, this coming Monday, uh, masks will be mandatory in all public places. And if you disobey, there is a jail time and three thousand dollar fine. So I don't know how true it is. Hopefully not. But um, I'm not doing that, man, because this is this is against my simple human rights. And by the way. Uh, to those who followed me in my YouTube video, um, I said recently because I do my research, right? I don't just uh, follow some gossip. Uh, you know, I don't follow gossip. I don't follow um, um, official news, which is you know big brainwash. I don't do that. I I look. I watch doctors, scientists, those people that have been studying uh, biology and viruses psychology for 20 30 40 years right and uh, the mask can protect you only one percent because they were doing the test where they were putting biomass and uh, that biomass uh, they were asking people to sneeze and cough profoundly right so uh, people were doing that with a mask on without there were two groups and the uh, Number showed, the study showed, only 1% can actually hold something, right? Which is basically nothing. What's 1% compared to 99%? And, uh, you know, you hear that they're saying, non-medical mask, non-medical mask, because medical mask we need for the doctors, don't use medical mask. Now, non-medical mask, don't, 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 <laughs> don't hold the shit, right? Like, don't hold the shit. Imagine the, the, the virus, if you do believe in that scary, with a big orange virus, you know, it's a nanoparticle, so teeny, teeny tiny, it's nothing for the mask not to go through, right? It's like, yeah, same as a plexiglass. So it's all that just to create all this fear and create that we are protecting you, we are for your health. Eventually what, what they are for is to, uh, to, to, to put us in a digital concentration camp right to give us all numbers i mean we already have a scene right social insurance number but it's also for um the butterfly almost went to my mouth uh, anyway i think the butterfly told me shut up otherwise you know big brother's wishing you <laughs> so anyway um we all know that uh i mean we all like those who are enlightened and those are who actually open their eyes we uh we know what they're trying to do right to shut us up to mask us up put the muzzle right and to and to basically uh right and to basically uh uh you know in use the social media and all other platforms to brainwash us right i mean everywhere you go right now you go on the youtube you go on the google first you see what you see first COVID-19. It's like there is no other issues. People are dying from cancer. People go and treat it to the hospital and they turn back and they turn down because they say, no, we have to keep, uh, you know, places for COVID-19. There is no COVID-19. There is a virus, yes, of course, uh, which we probably already beat it. And, you know, I like how the World Health Organization first is saying, oh, mask mandatory. Now there is no mask. By the way, Dr. Fauci doesn't wear a mask. So Bill Gates, <laughs> so all those uh, Satanists, right, Luciferians that they want to uh, kill. Uh, so the, the plan basically, you know, guys, right, uh, the pillars or the statue in Georgia, Atlanta, it says uh, humans shall not exceed more than uh, 500 million, basically half a billion. So uh, according to statistics, we have about seven and a half billion right now. So they're basically uh, planning to kill around seven million, uh, seven billion people. Uh, it sounds crazy. It sounds like, oh my God, that's a utopia. That's like conspiracy. Guess what? No, no, no. We, uh, for them, we just numbers. We just a biomass for them. For them, we are nothing, nobody. That's why they treat us like shit. That's why they lie to us. That's why they, uh, they, uh, they making this project uh, keep going. They making this agenda keep going, right? Because they don't need us. They don't need so many people. 
complaining, uh, asking for more money because they lost jobs, you know, asking for government support, asking for honest government. No government wants that. No government uh, want to be honest with citizens and all they want, they want to live like a leeches, right? Sakaur, lecho, physical and, you know, uh, sucker blood, uh, use our brains, use our bodies as slaves. That, that That's all they want, right? We believe, like, when I came here 20 years ago, I thought I came to the country of freedom. Shortly I realize it's not. Uh, some of you will tell me right now, so go back to your fucking Russia. Well, I would love to, but um, my, my, my children are uh, mixed, right? I, 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 I you know, uh, there is a uh, thing called racism there. And um, I mean, apart from that, uh, here it becomes, uh, I think, second Russia <laughs> or second China. I don't know what it becomes. Or maybe it was like that. I just, you know, I didn't see it, right? All I saw is the sugar-coated uh, cotton candy, right? Cotton candy that they present to all immigrants like, oh my God, this is paradise. Canada paradise, states paradise. We all live in paradise. We're just gonna chip you, uh, you know, vaccinate you and then, uh, you know, die in peace, <laughs> right? So anyway, um, yeah, I'm just talking, but I'm gonna record a couple of people that uh, the speakers today because it's good to know what's going on, not just me, right? Thanks for watching, Alisa Fish, Queen's Park protest, actually People's Park protest. Thank you. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, fellow Canadians, let's ask not what our country can do for us, but what we can do for our country. Now, this evening, uh, around uh, 4 to 6 p.m., a number of us are planning on going to Dundas Square to hand out flyers with the general public. We know people are reaching out to people on the side of the streets. People are loving to go marching. It's fantastic. And what my colleagues and I did a few years ago to beat swine flu is somebody set up a meet-up meet so a bunch of us red pill folks could look at and talk to each other, other people who understand what's going on. We met for falafels and shawarmas, about 15, 20 of us. We had a great time getting along. Then we felt like acting. So we set up a meet and greet table at near Dundas Square, right outside the Eaton Center. Polite patriots, ignoring people, saying hi to people, passing on info to go, posters, flyers, or DVDs, or, uh, or talking to people who want to talk to us politely. No nonsense, no taking out our frustrations. The only people that looked crazy were people who were triggered. We didn't, everybody else didn't, and some people who were quickly left after getting embarrassed. And then we loaded up our backpacks with posters and flyers, and we flyered every mailbox, we postered every street, and we had a great time doing so. So what I want to say for people out there is across Canada, in cities and towns everywhere, this is a great way to red pill your town or city, so please consider it. And please consider uh, today, 4 to 6 p.m. at Dundas Square, passing out flyers to our fellow Canadians, getting them from half knowledge to full knowledge. And when, once we're all informed and empowered, we'll help our leaders and our media and each other get a better future. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, BK. So just before I shut her down and um, we're going to let Lamont come up here and get you guys all prepped and ready for that march, I just want to once again advertise I am the liaison for it, however. Fearless Ontario, I encourage everybody to please go to the website www.fearlessontario.ca. Sign up if you'd like to volunteer. I love this little guy, he's adorable. That's right, go woo woo! Come here, woo woo! He's so cute. And, and uh, yeah, and like I said, hopefully the crowds will just keep getting bigger and bigger. Thank you all so very much for your support. And from the bottom of my heart, I really do mean that. Um, we're going to get this done, folks. We're going to get this done. We're going to make the changes where they need to be made right there in that house that belongs to us. So big round of applause for everybody here. And thank you very much. Lamont. Thank you.
My name is Lamont. I'm one of the leaders of Celebration of Freedom and Rights on Facebook. I'm also one of the leaders of the um, of Something Free North Patriots, which is another Black group Lives Matter joining us today. And I'm also uh, a member of the Line Canada movement. And the Line Canada movement was, quite frankly, put together so that if mainstream media has a hard time, if something goes down, like on Facebook, where we have all our groups and stuff, that we have a place where all the information is kept for our people. We always know when the protests or the marches are going to be, and the flyers are there for all the events, right? So what I totally recommend is that you go to the table right over here near the big tree, where the water and the food is, not one dime, not one penny. For the no more lockdown we want reparations, and we want change, and we want it now. Remember the 400. We remember the 400. Uh, In 400 they, years, they my people have been oppressed. 400 yeah. years. Do you understand how long that is? That's yeah, a long time. This is a pound of game with us. This is a pound of game for my people. Woo! Woo! Now, I want to also reassure people that, you know what, uh, BLM or uh, BK, Black Krishna, was just up here talking about the great Canadian House Party. He's already done my job because we're going to go over there at 4 o'clock to help Flyer Dundas Square to give people, the conventional people, a little bit of, uh, of an idea of what kind of awesome people we have here with awesome messages, okay? Dundas Square at 4 o'clock will be there. Also, I want to talk about Dufferin Grove this Saturday from 12 to 3. We're going to be having a drumming circle there. And you know what? I've been hearing this whole thing about a $3,000 fine for not wearing your mask in public yeah, yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, jazz yeah, yeah. from starting on Monday. Yeah. So you know what? Thursday might be a little contentious. But what we're saying is this. Before that point, we will have some verbology. We'll have some things that we can say to the people to say, no, you can give us a ticket if you want. But quite frankly, you can't prove anything to do with having a $3,000 fine. It's ridiculous. Okay? And we're just going to drum drumming at Dufferin Grove on Thursday from 12 to 3. And the next thing I want to do is really just go through the uh, parade march that we're going to have very soon here, as soon as we're done. It's going to be, once again, east on College to Church. We're going to go north on Church to Wellesley. Did you hear that? And then we're going to go west go. on Wellesley, down to Young, south on Young, back across um, College, and then come back here and join all our wonderful folk. Yeah. yeah. And what we're saying is this, maybe some people should hang out here just to hold headquarters for us to make sure all the BLM people have some awesome support too. And then we're going to go for a march and we're going to come back. So who's with me for a march today? Yeah. And we want to invite anybody else that wants to come along that hasn't been here too often. We're here to support you. Let's hit the straight people. Right this way. This is incredible. I was thinking today. I like strong women. Here we are. Yes. You know, um, a lot of women in the protest. I would say maybe if you look at the numbers, maybe more women than men. So here we are walking, marching. Uh, apparently the Black Lives Matter are joining us. They just joined us at the protest, which is great. Uh, whoever the supporters for the Black Lives Matter, they still they still people, they're from people, they're from us, and they they with us and in the same boat, in the same tyranny boat that we're trying to to fight against and to stop them from taking our freedom completely. So there is a new law just passed on Monday on. Uh, there will be a law that 3,000 fine and or jail time or both if you don't wear a mask in the public places. How normal is that? scientifically proven that 1% only can withhold any kind of bacterial viruses. 1% scientifically proven. So 99% it goes through the mask. And by the way, the mask people wearing, they are not medical masks, guys. They are not medical. And, uh, you know, it's also science, simple basic science, that if you wear a mask for a prolonged time, you introduce yourself to your own germs, to your own bacteria, to 
to sweat to uh, moisture which actually uh, builds up in your lungs which is actually very 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 unhealthy so this rule is trying to uh, outrule the normal human rights for freedom to breathe fresh air and not to wear muzzle right so basically people with asthma people with uh, uh, you know some people uh, have a fear of confined spaces mask is one one of these uh, aspects so uh, just think about that right um, by the way I see the cops here they are pretty friendly and none of them wear a mask you see no cops no cops since the beginning of this nonsense no cops wear a mask no cops I tell you something else guys uh, the pandemic was announced on the 13th of March you know how the Satan is the love uh, the love symbols and the love numbers and for them everything has a meaning right for us it's like oh my god you know COVID-19 out of blue every country announced exactly the same word to word because they have exactly the same script that they're following right uh, but you know what uh, we gotta open our eyes guys we gotta open our eyes as a nation as the Canadians as the Russians as the Europeans as the black as the Asian as the Indian as anybody you know as human being as human being realize we being oppressed uh, our rights been taken away and for those haters vegans guys for those who believe that we should mask up and sit at home and shut the hell up you know you are diminishing the whole purpose of vegan rights and of vegan or vegan movement right uh, because right now as a vegans we cannot go protest we cannot do cubes cubes of truth we cannot do many things right um, and I mean for, for what reason and like I said in my previous video, we would be all dying because this is today's, I think it's a seven to eight Saturday that we are here. Most of the people are the same people and none of them coughing, sneezing, dying, having fever or having any COVID. And by the way, just WHO just, just announced that asymptomatic people are not contagious. They are not spreading freaking virus. They are not. You know, remember guys the time of a swine flu, if you were here in Canada or not? Remember SARS? Remember other things? We didn't go crazy like that. Just just remember, this pandemic was planned a few decades before it started. Decades before. And uh, give you one more piece of information. In 2017, when Donald Trump became a president, the globalist and you know CEOs, financial CEOs, they promised that they're not gonna let him re-elect in an, in the in the next re-election, and they're gonna do anything possible and impossible. Just remember, states rules all the the world so far. U.S. dollar rules everything so far. So the reason they're creating all this is to destroy the economy, to bring the cashless and speechless and uh you know uh freedomless society that that's that's exactly what it is if you still don't realize that you know you have very short time to realize that right i mean we're marching here imagine if the 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 entire toronto would come out you know see people in the mask you know if the entire toronto or at least 80 percent of torontonians would come out freaking to the queen's park to this government building and show faces and show our you know unhappy faces and show that we are not okay with these rules right then then you know then we would move much quicker much much quicker right without violence without destroying anything you know just showing our protest right come and join us please park 12 12 to 3 guys every saturday so far until they're gonna do something to us i don't know right anyway um I'm done ranting here, just uh, finishing the video. This is amazing. By the way, there's a drumming circle uh, to bring awareness against the mask, against all this. On Thursday at the uh, at one of the parks, uh, I think it's, uh, I'm gonna announce that later. Anyway, people in the TTC, they're looking at us like we are completely losing our marbles. You know, they're like, what's going on? Earth is going crazy. Right, the sky is falling. <laughs> right, why they don't have masks? Are they under arrest? COVID yeah, you know, COVID is coming. COVID, COVID is falling on our heads. Oh my God! You know, it's seven to eight Saturday. 
And I'm not dead, guys. I'm not dead. Alicia Fish is not dead. And all my friends not dead. And they're not sick. And these guys, the nice guys in the bikes, they're not sick too. She's not even weak because she just about punched. No, did you punch me? I think I you punched punch. me. You punched me? I tell you. And, and this girl is there you not dead. You see, um, so guys, uh, follow me on my Instagram. Watch my YouTube videos. There are much more information I present on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, this is a real moment, man. This is this is a moment for freedom for everyone, not just for me, not just for my children, not just for these people, for everybody, for everybody. Okay, for everybody. So I'm finishing my my video. Uh, do you mind to give me a quick hand just to? Uh, so I'm gonna finish my video right here. I might extend it when I see it's necessary when something important come up. Alisa Fish, stay positive, be with us, fight for freedom. Yes. Stand up on your ground, stand up for your rights, okay? Thanks. Still the protest, the protest part is over right now. We're just mingling together here and the ladies are drumming here. Love it. Still the Queen's Park, guys. Still the Queen's Park. the cops are here none of the cops by the way wear, wear masks i've been telling that many many times <laughs>